Hello guys and welcome to this another video on Jamrin Forms. So in the last video what we did as was we made a simple list view and we added some items to it using a list view and item source and we also uh, made a custom class called student to display the student's list. So this was the output that we generated in the last video. So in this video we'll be looking at some uh, gestures that we can use in Jamrin Forms like tap gestures and, uh, and and swipe gestures that we can that has been introduced in Jamrin Forms using the gesture uh, recognizer class lib uh, library from Jamrin. So let's delete all old code and let's delete some of this and yeah. Let's also delete this class student. We do not need that. So this is basically a new project now. So uh, what we can do is if we go into the Microsoft documentation here, as you can see this. So what you can see is they have uh, a gestures panel. So this is general forms, application fundamentals and gestures. So as you can see, we have tab gestures, pinch, pan and swipe gestures available to us. So yeah, there's two way of uh, doing everything in Jamrin forms uh, uh, related to UI that is a C sharp method and using Jamrin method. So we'll be following the Jamrin method. And in this example, they have shown how to add uh, gesture, uh, gestures to an image. So we'll also do a similar thing, but to a stack panel, stack layout, stack layout. Uh, let's so let's add a stack layout and X. Okay, let's not add some elements to it. So let's add a label and say x name equals to let's say count label and just and let's add a stack layout uh no not okay let's add a stack layout and then give it a background call background call sorry a background color of red let's say and then Let's add something like height request equals 30 and width request equals to 30 maybe. I don't know. Okay. And then what we can do is we can just make this stack layout behave as a button by adding a tap gesture recognizer to it. So although this uh, may seem like overkill because we can just add a button and uh, with a uh, background red and it will do basically the same thing. But uh, for something like images and if you have a complex stack layer, complex um, custom button that uh, you can make using stack layout and uh, this might be a good option for you. So uh, stack layout or gesture recognizers. So as shown here in the example, what you can do is in anything, uh, either that may be a image or a stack layout, we can just add a tab just recognizer like this. So let's copy this and let's say tab just recognizer. Also, let's add this uh, here. And as you can see, there's a parameter called tab. So this is uh, tab is basically an event that we can add in a CS file, in our CS file here. And then um, this will be called whenever this tab register recognizer is called. So there's also a thing called number of taps required. So you can, um, you can activate this stack layout to do something on one tab and then something on two tabs and th something on three tabs and things like that. So we just want it to be uh, set to one and then Let's add this just recognizer event here. And as you can see here, the just a recognizer event is similar to a click event that we generated in the last week in a, in one of our earlier videos. So we can just copy this and then just paste it here. So this is not something that we need. So let's make a global variable named, let's say integer tap count equals to zero and let's add the tab count let's increase the tab count by one and then say uh, count label go to count label count label dot dot text equals to i was tabbed yeah something like plus tab count here yeah, now you can see that I was tabbed three times, four times, and things like that, and you know. So, plus times, yeah, simple. So, 
if we yeah just making sure everything is okay and yeah if we start this if we debug this what we can say is this must work okay wait and it's debugging now so as you can see there's a slight problem here since there's um the notch here uh, in this kinds of panels and um, in modern devices as you can see and what Xamarin thinks is this whole thing is the screen but it clearly is not so what we have to do to omit these kinds of situations is we can just say something like margin in the main page and margin we can just add zero because um, we do not need any margins on the left and right and we can just add something like 10 or let's say 30 and it will add margins to both the top and the uh, bottom so we do not have a lot of items inside here to be affecting the items in the um, in the bottom of the page so we can just add margin to both of the things and if you click here uh, you can see i was tapped one times two times three times four times and things like that so this is a simple thing and what you can also do is we can also add a swipe gesture recognizer to the same uh, stack layout say something like um i am switching between this documentation and um and and the code so i can explain to you how to read this documentation effectively right so um, i'm adding the swipe just recognizer to it as you can see um if i copy this and paste this here so i added the swipe just recognizer to the same uh, stack layout so here's the direction property here so i need to swipe to the left direction to trigger this swipe uh, on swipe uh, event you can also add a different um direction here you can just add let's say something like on swipe left and on swipe right right and let's say right and we can just copy this uh event from here where is the event okay so as you can see that um what this is doing is and it uh, in the documentation it is doing is it is just calling the on swipe method and um, it is asking um, the which pad direction it has been swiped to so swipe event args gives us the direction that it was swiped in right so it is just switching between these cases and we can just copy this again that is what we do and then i can just add it here right and no need to add swipe left and swipe right so we, what we can do is uh, sorry so for triggering right we can also add the same thing right and then on swipe so we can just say add this okay let's change uh, the text of um, the count label because that is what we have now uh, count label dot text equals to swipe left okay just copy that and paste that and copy that and press that okay swipe left swipe right swipe up and swipe down simple so let's build it and it might be a little harder to see swipe events because uh, the stack layer that we built is pretty small so if you see here i swipe it to the right swipe up okay it is registering as tapped because uh it is not clearly understanding that this is a swipe because i'm on a, i am on a desktop and it is taking it as a swipe up and down also what might have happened is we have not registered the swipe direction here so let's say uh, down and let's say top. all right not top up sorry so we have added four uh, listeners four directions to be that we can swipe on right and now the stack layout should respond to all 
the swipe events left down up and right so swipe le right left again the swipe up and swipe down okay swipe down so as you can see this is how swipe events work and you can also add this pinch and pen gestures if you like and um, so this is the simple uh, this is a fairly simple thing that you can do uh, on your own so thank you guys for watching this video this much for today and if you have any queries about uh, gestures and button clicks and other events in general you can uh, always refer to me in the comments below you can also go to my github page and you can also ask me questions on my facebook and twitter page so thank you guys for watching this video if you have any queries leave it in the comments below and subscribe to my channel if you like the video leave a thumbs up thank you guys for watching this